one one day later. <laughs> everything's just so kind of chill now. I mean, everything's dealt with. I was surprised Georgie died. I thought he would might be like a reoccurring character. Hey, it's fly catcher. Is that him? Is that Not the what man? I was expecting. Morning, Aww. crooked man. He's got a sharp tongue. Oh no. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Greenleaf. That's it. Work is work, I guess. That, that's usually it. Hey, Sheriff. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down. I don't know in either. It's toad okay. going. Great. Oh, what about Colin? Did, did he end up going? It's hard. This fucking line. Who the hell is that? A new girl. Oh, is everyone gonna get angry? Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Is she just leaving? Oh God. Okay. Is everything okay? You look. I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. Uh oh. We'll talk later, okay? Uh oh. What? 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 Good morning, Miss White. <sighs> You're late. Oh, nope, guess he's working here now. That was weird. How come everyone's just gone? They're just teleported. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Nope. You're just gonna let him go so I don't even get the option? Oh, is he going to the farm? Ooh, look at that ass. Can't have that piece of bacon from me. <laughs> What's going on? Everything feels weird. It doesn't feel like we just won. I wonder how long this has been so far. It feels long, but I get the feeling it hasn't been that long. Oh, poor Toad Jr. Oh, Gowan! Jesus! Holy crap, that was a powerful push. He's getting a little nudge while flying across the couch. I mean, they carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. It's Toad and Toad Jr. You guys going? Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Well, we had we had the chance. Oh, shit! Just go grab well, that, I would did. you? Well, Sorry you about here. all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance, but Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. Stop I thing. have something. Uh oh. <laughs> You know, he was up crying all feet. night. Poor kid. So does no one care that there's just two frogs Can just standing here right now? Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... Does he have a crush on Miss White? I think it is. bring it to her... What is it? I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. Aww. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're <laughs> That's cool, a weird gift. Because when they're little, they have these pouches. <laughs> That's that nice. <laughs> squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. Aww. What's it like at the farm? I've heard Terrible. ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. <laughs> Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. I'm sorry, TJ. But, uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space yeah, to run around. there'll be a lot of bugs. And a nice river nearby, so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Even yeah, in daytime. You don't have to worry about the Monday scene. What are the farms it's actually nice. like? I'd be really curious to see you to go there. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? That's kind of silly, All actually, set. that I haven't even gone there before. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Oh. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? Oh, I should have told Dang, he gets... 
I feel so bad, but what could we have done? I mean, the only thing we could have done was stolen money from like any of the multiple points we had in the game and then given it to them dead ass though. Like, I don't know what. Hi. Uh, Hi. Breaking one moral compass for another one. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. How could. I know it seems. Oh, it's because like Vivian be died. To. It's just. Let's just let me help. Bigby, I. I know you're trying to help. Okay, I get it. This is just something I need to do on my own. The ribbon magic's okay? gone because Vivian said the source of the Listen, magic. Listen, I. Get I it. I came here because I have to tell you something. Uh oh. What is? She loves me. It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I did it. I'm not sure I where killed to them. start. Did she actually? <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Marissa, what did you do? Um, I freaked I... out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Oh, God. Maybe... Try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I Aww. begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You she, were well, it's true, he was. Just trying to protect them. That's very true. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. I mean, it's not like her. this but was then, her intention. She only oh, intended good. <laughs> I'm cheating on Snow right now. I don't think that would really get someone to smile. When I don't know what happened, this. but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. And then he killed he everybody. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man. Back at the well, you said- I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? Oh, what does God. it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. So you, you think that lied. makes it okay to lie? I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because <coughs> of a stupid technicality. Especially after- Oh no. That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. She I killed her! I left Faith's head at your doorstep. Oh, wow. You? What? I walked her over here, and I left her. So that ring in her mouth, that was you? Yeah. I remember the ring. I couldn't what, think what, of oh. any other way to get your attention. Oh, I remember it had like a symbol on so it. You, I don't remember what, it, what symbol it was. You started all this. That was a long time I ago. I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that yeah. happen to Faith or Lily. I mean, no, there was a whole bunch of bleach at that one place where the crooked man was. Not really. That won't happen anymore. It's going to be different now. I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. They totally Not while them. I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. It seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that You're way, winning but with me, Big B. <laughs> Both of you. You we should two probably hire more people team. to be honest. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. Yeah. I just I go out there and I do my job. I put my life on the line. I get shot at. I do what has to be done for them. Wait, no one's happy. At the end of the day, I'm still the bad guy. I know. But they'll come around. 
You'll see. One day. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally. Yeah. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. And one second. I hope so I at least mad. some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Without you. That butt though. I'm sorry. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. <gasps> Faye said that. Wait, I what does that mean? I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the little Did mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'm confused. What? Wait, what? I'll see you around. Confused? What? What did you do? You really? Wait, does it mean kill him as in we ended his misery, or kill him as in like we stabbed them with the knife? Did you give Cookie Man a trial? You and seventy percent brought the Cookie Man back alive. You could just kill him, really? I feel like this episode would be a lot shorter if you could just killed him. Oh, it's pretty much split down the middle. Most people decided to throw him down, though. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say it. it I, I, I would say I would imagine most people would accept the TJ's gift for still. Why wouldn't you? That'd be kind of a dick move. Where you in there say, I hope I've done some good here. So what is that implying? That Faith was um Rissa and we never did meet Faith? But then was she already oh you know what she was probably already dead at that point and that Nerissa just glamoured herself as Faith. Right? Special stats, you impressed her with your detective skills. Oh, this is cool. You you best him up during the interrogate. You beat him up, maybe? He's, this text kind of sucks. You offered him protection at the business office. I didn't mean to beat him up. Sheesh. Colin, you help, you help, you help him to avoid the farm. Okay. Look at his giant ears. <laughs> you took him back to the witching wall. You imprisoned him. You offered her a job. You drank with Gran after Lily's funeral. I uh, parent pretend to be the no, I didn't. Oh, I did at first, and then I told her it was it was me. I probably shouldn't have done that. I thought it would just cause trouble, though. Dude, I'm sorry, Holly. You tried to take off a ribbon and Big Me's office. You tried to take a ribbon during your final conversation. <laughs> oh, I just always try to take off ribbons. That's all I do. Um, you brought her along with you to the trip trap. You promised to bring the crew back man back alive. Oh, I forgot I did that, but yeah. I mean, I would have done that anyways. You chose to wait for him. Well, I mean, he is a cripple. I mean, I wasn't just going to be a dick and just walk away from him. Toad, he stood up for him and still wanted to send him to the farm. And he ended up going to the farm anyways. And now he hates me. So this has been the season finale of The Wolf Among Us. And maybe even the series finale, depending on if Telltale picks us up again. Uh, because this game is based off of a comic book series, um, Telltale didn't have much freedom with this, I guess. They had to use a whole bunch of, like, characters that aren't in the comics, just, you know, for obvious reasons. That it had, it has to, it has to be canon with the comic kind of thing. Um, however, the comics are ending sometime this year, I believe, or sometime, it's either, either this year or sometime in the next year. So after that, I guess maybe Telltale might make another season. It really depends on, I guess, how popular this game is taken. Because, I mean, I haven't really seen this game played very by very many people. PewDiePie played it, which is a, probably a huge boost to it. But like, besides that, I know Paws and Paws played it. And there's probably a whole lot of YouTubers I don't know. But I haven't really heard much buzz about it. Not nearly as much as The Walking Dead. And, I mean, it's really hard to compete with The Walking Dead. 
But I don't know. I thought this game was really good though, minus the first six month wait in between episode one and two. But apparently in that time, these episodes are um, the series got a complete rewrite, and then like that's that's why it was so long between the episode one and episode two. I definitely felt like Colin was supposed to have a bigger role. I felt like Detective Brannigan was supposed to have a bigger role. Who else? The, the orange haired guy, we saw him at the end there waiting in line for the business office. He showed up multiple times, I've talked about this, um, in episode one and many people assumed he was the murderer and it was kind of, I mean, that's per maybe what they're going after, tell Telltale that is. Maybe they're trying to make him look like the murderer but it was too obvious so they changed it. But I don't know, a lot of people are angry that they rewrote the entire story and took so long to get out episode two but I'm really happy they did because I mean it turned out for the best. I mean, if they rewrote it, they clearly didn't think it was very great, so... I mean, now that they rewrote it, they made it the best they could. I love it when companies do that. I mean, they just take the time to make it... Uh, and see, I honestly, I've been considering reading these. I mean, they are as gritty as... Um, they are as gritty as the game, apparently, so I, I, I'm kind of interested, to be honest. Anyways... <laughs> I guess that's it. Uh, we do have a few books of fables left, so let's go read those and hope... Okay, the game didn't crash. Excellent. Oops. Oh, there we go. Book of fables. Book of fables. And we apparently missed a whole bunch of crap. Surprise, surprise. Alright, let's read this crap. Fable Town Justice! When criminals capture in Fable Town, the traditional procedures to hold... Uh, in a formal hearing in front of the community or concerned parties. However, the exceptions are made to expedite the process. In reality, there aren't any hard and fast rules for these types of situations, and the extent to which policies are upheld can depend on who is being charged. Little Blade Runner's eyes. Oh, they're red there. She actually has pupils. She didn't before. She, she had just like black, red, black eyes. Whoa, she snow. She went from smiling to sad. Ugh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad, sad. <laughs> Crane out of the what, what happened to Crane? A new order. With Crane out of the picture, Mayor Cole has officially appointed Snow White as Director of Operations and Deputy Mayor in his absence. Uh, many would say this promotion is a long time coming since she was instrumental in the establishment of Fable Town personnel person personally ensured that many fables made it to a new world. To the new world. She's also been doing the work of the deputy mayor unofficially for years. Eddie Tru. Alright, the last one. Sheriff Bigby. Look at my wolf form. That seriously I did mention this early in the episode. But I think his form before this like full of wolf form probably a lot more practical and probably should have been a lot more well, not badass, but I feel like this actual wolf form is not nearly as practical and as powerful, in my opinion. Anyway, Sheriff Big after fleeing the homelands, Big Beast Wolf spent many years wandering through Europe. Oh, neat. Uh, with the Fable Colony quickly developing in the New World, Snow White and Feather Top. Okay, tracked down the wolf and offered him passage to Fable Town. He agreed and Snow cut him with a uh, lycanthropy stain knife to give him the power to change it to human form of will. Oh, that's neat. Maybe we became the sheriff of Fable Town under King Cole's administration. Do we? We never met King Cole, did we? I wonder who that is. But because of this violent past, many fables didn't trust him, and he was banned from ever setting foot on, on the farm. Oh, that I didn't know. To this day, he struggles to redeem himself in the eyes of the community. Very true. Okay, anyways, this has been The Wolf Among Us. Maybe in a year or two, <laughs> we will see another season of this. That would be amazing. I really love the series. I think I'm liking it. It's not as good as the, the Walking Dead season one. Like, this finale wasn't as great as the season one of The Walking Dead. Because honestly, season one of The Walking Dead, like Telltale, like, that was amazing. If you haven't seen that, I haven't played it, but go watch it on YouTube or play it yourself. Um, but this was still pretty fantastic. So I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. Next up from Telltale, we'll have more Walking Dead. That's all we'll really have for now. Telltale's coming out with new games soon, including a Game of Thrones game, which I'm definitely gonna play because seriously, Game of Thrones, freaking awesome. But I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye!